What is up, guys? We're back with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time, the most superior edition, SNES edition. Don't listen to Ben. He, he's trying to up talk the arcade. Listen, it's all about SNES. The, up car, the arcade, at least for the differences that I know of, the intro song is, is awesome. The yeah. Pizza Power, you can't beat that track. It's, hey, just, man. A, it's just a winner. It's not fair because the arcade is more powerful, man. Of course it's going to be bad. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the SNES. Not at all, man. Is the arcade more powerful, actually? Typically, yeah. They typically are. You gotta think of it like this. It's this really big arcade. I know, game. but I, I have like a, a refurb of it. So it's yeah. like, you know, it's the arcade one-up one. Yeah. So that one has like, the board is literally uh, on the back of the screen, and there's nothing yeah. else inside the cabinet. So I don't know if it's more powerful than this thing or that not. That is right, yeah. The board is on the back of the screen. It's got the little ribbon clip that clips into the, the joysticks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. I was born ready. So, you, got any, you said you had a couple stories you wanted to tell me since we haven't talked. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, we haven't talked to each other or actually seen each other in person in, like, over a year and a half. That is true, yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see if I can remember them. Well, one was the Neverland story yeah. that, that, that I told last episode. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can tell you about how I left Best Buy. Oh, yeah, and I can tell you about how I left Best Buy afterwards. Okay. I'll let you go first, though. All right. So, um, for those who don't know, we used to work at Best Buy together. I think I said that in the last video. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked in the video game department, he worked in AP. AP just means at the front. I get to stand at, a, at the front and just watch YouTube all day on my phone while people walk in and say, Hello, how are you doing? Yes. And look at receipts. Yes, and then he wore a yellow <laughs> shirt as well, and I wore a blue one. Uh, so eventually I ended up working in... Um, we worked together for a while, and then I ended up working in a different store in the Magnolia section, which is like the sound expert type uh, fancy TV um, section. Sold really expensive TVs to people, um, and uh, did a bunch of four 8K demos, that kind of thing. Um, so I you worked at Magnolia back in the day. I did. I worked in Magnolia um, over in Irving. Yeah, because that's where you transferred, right? Yes. Yeah, I remember you something about the TV set. I was that man. Yeah, so I had to learn about all these TVs and stuff. And so, I mean, if you got any TV questions, just ask me in the comments, I guess. Um, yeah, good good reason to comment. Yes. Just, even if you just want to say you guys suck, just comment. Yes. I love I love any comment. Just say we're bad, and that's yeah. that's pretty good. That's a good comment for us. That was a very efficient use of that. Yeah, I was like, dude, that was perfect timing. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I started working Magnolia, and um, they had a bunch of shakeups right when I got in. So the manager that hired me, um, basically, they kind of pseudo-fired her. Mm -hmm. um, and I had just started when this happened. Mm -hmm. So I got hired, and then she was pseudo-fired. Oh gosh, what are these things? These are the enemies from the second movie. I recognize the purple Secret of the, Secret of the Use, or whatever it's called. So like, Shredder gets the fuse, and he basically takes the puppy and like a uh, snapping turtle, and he gives them the use, so they turn into like what the Ninja Turtles are. I re yeah, I recognize the purple one. I do not recognize the red one at all. He's the dog. Okay. Well anyway, so I, I got there, they shook things up, Hired a new manager after I got hired, and the new manager um, was not a good person. His managers tend to be a lot of times. Yeah, so he immediately started having problems. Oh, they turned back to the turtle puppy. He's a, he's a little good boy. Look at him. Look good boy. Yeah. Uh, he was trying to eat us earlier, but you know. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I'll forgive him. So, anyways, oh, new you manager. really needed that pizza. I'm sorry. No, you were pretty low too. So, okay. new manager. New manager comes in. His name was Matt, I think. I'm not gonna say his last name, but uh, yeah, you don't want to dox him by accident. Yeah. So he he comes in, starts doing his thing, yeah. and this manager, instead of working in the like as a manager for any amount of time, mm -hmm. he um, he started working as a, a back end manager. So he like worked in the back, sort of what like. Okay. Uh, uh, Kind of like what would have been my supervising as you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Who's that guy who ended up working out there? Yeah. Starts, starts with be, a B. Yeah, yeah I, I don't remember his name. Vicente. Vicente, yeah. Vicente. He has Vicente's 
position. Yeah. So imagine if like Vicente suddenly became a store manager. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Okay. Uh, Vicente was pretty cool though. He's pretty nice. Yeah, but I actually liked him. I liked a him a lot. Yeah, he was he was funny. Um, and he liked UFC, which also is pretty cool too. I like UFC. I could I could stand to get into that. I'm more into boxing than anything. Um, well, maybe we can watch some UFC together sometime. Huh? Maybe, yeah. I'd be into that. Um, but anyways, he came in and he just started, you know, doing his thing, and he kind of like made a lot of people mad, and most people started quitting really quickly. <laughs> Anytime they talked to him yeah. personally, I've seen a few, I saw a few people walk out, and I was like, "What? That's yeah. kind of bad." So PI night comes around, and if you know anything about PI night. It's Oh, yeah, yeah. Per inventory. I, I always got away from that. I just worked today and I never had to stay overnight. Yeah. I always walked out on that. So I was scheduled to work PI for the first time ever. Um, and apparently, they are, and I didn't know this, no one explained it to me. Uh, and this is my first night ever working there. In the, in the two and a half years that I worked Best Buy, this is my first one. So, apparently, when you do PI. Yeah. You're supposed to walk in a specific door. And if oh, you, yeah, the exit door. Yes. And if you don't walk in that door... It counts you as a customer. Okay. Yeah, it counts me as a customer. And they're watching that, apparently. Especially, really, uh, closely on PI night, because it has to be perfect, apparently. Yeah. So I walk in the normal door, the entrance. It says entrance. Didn't didn't know this fact about PI night Even at all. then, it's not a big deal. Even then, it's not supposed to be a big deal. Yeah. Well, the guy hauls off and starts yelling at me. Like, really loudly. Really strong, like, language, too. Comes up, what the F are you doing? Why are you walking in the wrong door? And I'm like, okay, I just walked in the wrong door. Calm yourself. I think I said that, like, straight up to him. The best way, the way you fix it is you literally just walk out the exit door and then walk in the, the, the exit door. And it literally counts you not as a customer. It counts the customer leaving and nobody coming in. So you could have fixed it that way. Yeah, I mean, and he could have explained it that yeah. way, right? Well, the guy gets unreasonable and he says, you know, um, I think what he said to make me leave was, you can't be here because your face pisses me off. Well, that's nice. It's like, all right, that's not professional at all. Something's wrong with that. So, anyways, I called HR on the dude. Yeah, because he just denied you hours. Yeah, he denied me hours for no reason. Because he was being very unprofessional. Yes. So, HR? So, I called HR. Uh, they did nothing. But That's I usual. did learn that he had, had about six HR complaints that week from the rest of the store. So anyways, um, I started making plans to get out of the job, you know, it took me about three months to do that, and uh, the day before I get out of the job, I get an injury. Really? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I, I know what you're, I'm a fan of where this is going. Yeah, so uh, I reported it, and uh, I got physical therapy for three months. And then I left, and my wife started working at the salon as a manager, and uh, we, uh, Ooh. oh gosh, I forgot about these guys. Salon manager, huh? Oh, yeah. up in the world. And I started taking care of the baby, and that's how I got to uh, not working. Oh, nice. Kind of a long-winded story, but... Yeah, I mean, mine's... Could be long. I could try to shorten it down. Oh, maybe, maybe I could save it for the next episode so people want to watch the next episode. There you go. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll save mine if we save actually yours. remember. Yes. By the way, I'm pretty sure both of us have ADD, so we're probably gonna forget. <laughs> we can't forget that quickly. I mean, it's longer for that, but my gosh, we forget in 15 minutes. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. So those guys that have like the thing—if you run and slam into them like that, it knocks them over. Yeah. So the guys that have the like, little little shield thing, you can't hurt them. Literally just run towards them and just hit the attack button and they'll slam into them. How do you run? You just, just yeah, down. you just have to run forward. Oh, crap, I died. 
So run and then slam into him. I just I played this game for over 20 years. I never knew that until now. There's lots of little quirks to this game, and everything seems kind of random. Yeah. The other thing is this game will just damage you uh, because it's it's designed to get quarters. So there's no really no way to avoid any damage of any type. You're always gonna take some damage no matter what. Yes. These guys. There we go. Oh, I hate you know how they explode. That must be painful. Do they feel pain or are they like androids? They're actually like, well, in the movie, they're actually supposed to be people. They're foot shoulders. Dude, did you ever hear about Soylent Green? Soylent Green? No. Yeah. It's made of people. You never seen that? Soylent Green is people. Oh, I think we actually have to ramp him too. Oh, uh, it's teaching us. Okay, there we go. But well, you have to wait till he jumps, maybe, and then hit him. There you go, got him. Got him! Oh, crap. It's the dark turtle. Getting up on him! He's gonna kill us. Yeah, oh well. At least we're having fun, right? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm dead. I actually think my story could be longer than your story if I if I start from the beginning with uh, working for the VA. Oh yeah? Yeah, probably. I probably won't go into do too much detail about the VA because it's just it's a long story, maybe I can go in further detail later on. But oh crap, I'm about to die. Continue! I need you. Aha! Now I shall kill. Oh, oh, god dang it. Whoops, hold on. So I think if you hit start... Oh look, I changed. So there's a way to change the turtle when you're on that screen. Really? Yeah. You can play as uh, Leonardo. Yeah, you can play as Leonardo now if you want to. So wait for Mike to die. Look at us coming on up in the world. Coming on up in the world, man. Dude, this brings back so many memories. Oh, yeah. You ever played this Scott Pilgrim game? No, I've been thinking about getting that. Heart is really good. It was lost to time for like seven years. Yeah, because they took it off the stores. I guess they maybe it has like music or something. Because the licenses were like expired. Yeah, they still let the license expire. But I still have the original version on 360. Dang, man. They just re-released it for, I think, PS4, Xbox One, and uh, Nintendo Switch. I was thinking about buying a Nintendo Switch. Yeah. I'm going to have to go into our favorite store, Best Buy, to go buy it, though. The physical copy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, it looks like we're coming up on 15 minutes, though. Any any little anecdotes you want to give for, like, the uh, next minute? Um, Let's see. Anecdotes. I need to get better at improv, I think. That's all good, man. It's all good. So, guys, we hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed uh, ben, Ben's story of getting uh, screwed over by, uh, you said he was young manager, young guy? Uh, he, he had been in the military. He was so he was like, oh, no, he was younger than me. He was 26. Mm -hmm. I was older than him, and he was acting like a big old boss. Yeah, some people, like, uh, they get out of the military, and I guess they think, like, I was in the military, and they try to act like you people act in the military. Like, most, okay, I was in the Navy, full disclosure. Like, typically, a lot of people in the military, especially people in charge, aren't usually dicks. They're usually going through the same crap you are. Whenever you have to stay up late to get room inspection and stuff like that, they have to go inspect your room. They don't want to be there. They're mad at you, but at the same time, there's just some people that, like, whenever they get just a little bit of power, it goes through their head, and it drives me crazy. Yeah, so I think my advice is that if your job is bad, just quit. Well, look for another job first if you can. <laughs> well, I'll say this. If it's to the point where you think you're going to be suicidal, quit and go live with your parents. Like, <laughs> you do not yeah. need to be in that kind of headspace. Like, there's no yeah. reason. Yeah, man, that's kind of goes into the whole VA story. I guess I'll talk about that next time. But, yeah, that came. it didn't push me to suicide. 
subtle thoughts or crazy thoughts. Literally just every day I would wake up and I'd be like, do I really have to go to this place? You know, and like it sucks because I really wanted to work there. I was excited when I got the job. But anyways, guys, it's been 15 minutes. We're just blowing through this game like freaking pros. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've only died like what? 10 times? 11? Yeah, I mean, conservative number. <laughs> Pretty conservative, I'm going to say. But yeah, if y'all guys liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, definitely comment. I try to get back to all the comments. I don't think I've missed a single comment in any of my videos in like the last like six, seven months. So yeah, be sure to go down there and say, Ben and Steven suck at video games. Or maybe say something nice too if you want to. You know? Yeah, I mean, I prefer the nice ones, honestly, if I'm being <laughs> fully honest, but you know. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.